I came back. It was good to hear a British band playing, to see so many smiling faces, to begin to realise that the dream of many months had come true at last. We know what the Red Cross have done for you, and you know it far better. Yes, I was one of those thousands who cheered. In fact, I thought I cheered louder than anyone else, but I suppose every one of them thought the same thing. There's old Oppie who lost a leg at Dunkirk, same as I did. Gosh, it's good to be back in Blighty. Then as we drove away to hospital, the crowds all cheered, but it seemed all wrong to me. It should have been we who cheered. It was wonderful, the care and attention we got in the hospital. Sometimes we'd get an outing. That was always a great thrill. Then one day I went to the races. Ascot of all places. Sport of Kings. And I felt like one. What a scene, eh? It was the first real big crowd of free people I'd seen since 39. We'd had our races in camp, you know, with dice and cut-out horses made of cardboard from the Red Cross parcels. But here we were, my pal and me, with all these sportsmen. Do you know, as I looked at this mass of people, I felt I'd like to thank each one of them because I knew they'd all done their bit for the boys in the prison camps, and I felt I represented those boys. There they were, these sportsmen. They represented Britain. Factory worker, managing director, designer, the craftsman, the the clerk, the labourer, the farmer. The people who had to fight at home, for their hands, their brains, helping to win the greatest battle. Helping also by giving and getting others to give, so that the boys in the prison camps could have the food and comforts to fight their battle, to live. Well, I did get an opportunity of thanking some of them. Met Gordon Richards. And there's Steve Donahue, Jack Hilton, Bud Flanagan. That Tommy Trinder wouldn't listen to me. He wanted to give me a tip. Tommy Carey rode the Derby winner when we were still in the prison camp. It was two months before we had the result of that. I remember it well because I won nine cigarettes. Sport of Kings. I like call them all kings of sports, real sports. Soon I got my artificial leg. <laughs> it won't take so long to dress now, fitted with a shoe and a sock. I had my first tryout at walking. A bit strange at first, but I'll manage okay. Wasn't long before I was regularly gadding about. One day I went to the cinema. A young lady showed me into a seat. Take care, she said, and thank the chap for moving up for me to have an end seat. They were showing a kind of news review, and there on the screen was Dunkirk 1940. Cool, what an awful time those poor blokes had getting back. El Alamein, now oh, that's a bit better. What a string of victories. Normandy. You know, I began to feel what I'd been through. Hadn't been in vain. Paris. Brussels. Arnhem. Yes, Arnhem. I was just wondering how many of those boys are in prison camps today when on went a slide. A collection for the Red Cross and St John organisation and a jolly good idea too. The collector wanted to pass me by. <laughs> she must have seen my ex-service badge. Now oh, wait a minute nurse, I said. Let me give my bit. You see, I know what good you do and there are thousands of my pals still out there. They want help and every little helps. 
Thank you, she said with a sweet smile.